this has been a, a, a long time in coming. The manufacturers have been working with hybrid electric drivetrain since the, the early 90s. Um, the electric systems for light duty vehicles were bulky and consumed a lot of the vehicle space, uh, particularly with battery packs. But the technology has progressed now um, with, with the hybrid electric vehicles are now comparable to conventional vehicles in size and performance. A uh, little background on this, there are 364 districts roughly in the state of Iowa with 6,047 school buses. These districts employ or contract over 10,000 drivers transporting 238,000 students each day and travel approximately 56 million miles a year. With all that, there's room for improvement and efficiency. Sigourney, Iowa is one of the first uh, hybrid electric school buses in the nation, along with uh, Nevada. We have two in, uh, in Iowa. This is a part of an 11 state, uh, state pro program. There are 19 uh, hybrid electric school buses uh, manufactured here with the International uh, in the country. And we're very fortunate to have two of them right here in the state of Iowa. Um, as Dennis mentioned, it, it wasn't an easy road. It was a long and winding road. But I think it marks an important first step and that's uh, reinforcing the message that we are bringing to our, to our students who ride this bus to school, that of environmentalism and conservation. Through the use of hybrid technology, we're able to cut fuel expenditures by up to 70% and reduce airborne pollutants by 90%. What that means on a broader scope is this. We use over a billion gallons of diesel fuel every day, or excuse me, every year in North America in school buses. If we're able to cut that by 20, 50, or even 70%, the savings itself will be astronomical. What we're looking at is uh, the, the meat of the hybrid system. Uh, there's two battery packs, one on each side of the bus. Uh, each one contains 14 12 volt uh, lithium ion batteries. Uh, the barrel like feature you see is the electric motor. Uh, on the other side, and you can't really see it from here, there's the, the cooling system, which is, consists of a radiator and a cooling pump. And then also on the other side is the system controller. Uh, it, it communicates with the engine and tells, you know, helps coordinate uh, the expenditure of the energy. You want to hear the diesel engine right now? No, I was just say, right now, as you can tell, just on the electric drive, I'm barely really pushing on the pedal. Uh, uh, it's, it's quiet and there's, uh, you know, just force right to the wheels. And so this is just, right now, just the electric motor running. You hit that accelerator and you got torque right to those drive wheels. Yeah, I don't know what the oh, decibel thing line is. Yeah, but even uh, the, the, what the decibel level is, but I mean, it's just most generally quieter too at those lower end speeds. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, the engine's going to be quieter. I don't know if the noise level inside the bus when it's full of kids is going to be any quieter. No, right, but, <laughs> but the engine will be quieter.